Hi guys, this is Miso here with Miso Making It. Welcome to my kitchen and today we're cooking Southern Fried Squash. So here I have my squash and I'm going to stop up my sink. Go on and get my squash down in the sink and get them washed. Now they have a very delicate skin and so you have to be careful not to stick a fingernail or just anything. They start very easily. But I mean, if, they, if you do, you still can use them. I'm just washing them with my hand by just rubbing my hands nice and with all of these squash. They are not, they're really dirty, so just give them a good rinse. Okay, now I'm going to do what is called tipping and tailing them. That means I'm going to cut off the top and the bottom of these squash, and then I'm going to slice them up just any kind of way, any random size. Because we're going to fry these and it doesn't matter what size they are. Tipping and tailing. If you see any blemish or anything unsightly on the squash, go ahead and cut that off. I'm tipping and tailing here and slicing. Tipping and tailing and slicing. Very easy. When I'm slicing or working with vegetables like this, it gives me time to think and to reflect and to sing. I just love it. Okay, now here I am melting two teaspoons of butter in a pan and I have my squash here waiting because I'm going to begin to fry the squash. So let me get my camera in a position so you can see what's going on. So the butter is melting enough. I'm going to go ahead and get my squash in the pan. And I'm going to get here, I have a half a cup of sliced onion. I'm putting in my uh, lemon pepper, my onion powder, my garlic. And my veggie table salt. All of that was about half a teaspoon each. The table salt was one teaspoon. So I'm letting this just come to a sizzle. I don't want it to turn brown, but I'm letting it sizzle just to fry just a little bit. And once it sizzles for about a minute, I'm going to get my water down in over my squash. I'm going to completely cover my squash. Now I'm going to stir it a little bit, make sure everything comes together and plays nicely together. I'm going to get my lid on and let this boil for about, oh, 30 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes until it gets soft. Then we're going to fold it up. Here we go. Now we have it. We have taken this out of our pan. We let all of the water cook out until it was really dry. And then we put it in a bowl. This is delicious. It's a wonderful side dish. Make it for your family. They'll love it. Guys, thank you for coming by my channel because I know that you knew I would be throwing down again today. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks.